Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. This video is lesson three in my Learn to Quilt series and this lesson is going to be about the layout. So by now you have cut out all your squares but before we start sewing them together we need to figure out how we are going to lay our squares out. Now I would recommend for this that you get a a uh, nice flat surface, whether it's a dining room table or the, a large area on the floor or on top of a bed or something, but you'll need an area that you can lay out your squares. Now, there's several different ways you can lay them out, and I'm going to give you some options. Um, first off, we need to understand that your quilt will either need to be square or it needs to have more squares going down than it does going across. Um, quilts are generally either going to be square or they're going to be longer than they are wider. Okay, so for my quilt, I'm going to do 14 squares across and 17 squares down or Another way to look at it would be 17 rows of 14 squares, okay? Now I'm going to basically do just a very haphazard patchwork, um, kind of messy, if you want to, version. Um, there's gonna be no rhyme or reason to my squares. I'm just going to pick one up and go. I actually have 30 different um, fabrics that I have used. So if I do 14 squares across, then I will just start and start pulling squares, do 14 squares across, and then on my next row start with uh, fabric 15 and just go across. And you're really going to end up with a very haphazard, um, no two squares next to each other type version. Now, when you lay out your, your quilt, I would lay the whole thing out first, see how you like it, move squares around that, as you need it. Then there's two ways that you can put your quilt, um, what I call put it together again to start sewing, okay? Now, if you are going to use pins to pin your squares together, that is totally fine. You would start on the first row, once you have it laid out, you would start your first square to your second square, right sides together. If you would like to pin, and I would recommend that if, um, you know, this is something new for you, you can pin top and bottom. You wanna make sure that your squares match. So this would be your first and your second square. Then you would take your third fabric, right sides together, pin it, top and bottom, like that, and you would keep going. All right, now that the cat stopped banging at the door and I've let him in, so you would start here, I have four squares pinned together. You would continue to do that for all your squares in the first row. Then you would start on your second row and you would do the same thing. So you would end up with however many rows, in my case 17, I would have 17 rows that are all pinned together. Then you would simply lay the rows on top of each other and then you would be ready to sew. The other method that you can do is simply putting your squares on top of each other. So I would take square one, yes, Twix, lay it on top of square two, lay that on top of square three, lay that on top of square four, and so forth all the way down the row. So then as I'm sewing it, I would literally just take square one and square two, place them on top, sew, 
pull it back, then take the next square, which is square three, lay it on top, and keep going like that. However you want to do it is up to you. If quilting is something that's new to you, sewing is something that's new to you, I would recommend the pin method. Now, if you are making a patchwork, there are several ways you can lay out your patchwork. Okay, so a patchwork, remember, is, or I'm sorry, the, the nine patch is nine squares. Okay, so you would lay out your nine squares, and this is the way I think of as kind of a traditional patchwork. You kind of think of it as a tic-tac-toe almost. You've got one, basically one, two, three, three, one, two, and then two, three, one. And so you have this kind of diagonal look. That's one way you can lay out um, your patchwork. Twix, you are being especially needy today. There's other ways that you can lay out your patchwork. Um, let me see if I've got... See if I've got, I can find one here where I've done it um, with basically you're doing five where you're doing um, you're basically you're doing your squares on the sides and the center like this. And then you're putting a different fabric like that. That is also a way you can do it. Something like that. Um, you know, there, there's other ways. Those are probably the two most traditional ways of doing the nine patch. Um, Again, you're using nine squares per square. So if you're going to be sewing it this way, you would do the same thing. You would pin your pieces together in each row, one, two, and three. And you would do that for each of your squares. Once you had them pinned, which again, the amount of pins you use is up to you. Um, you just wanna make sure that you're comfortable with it. So once you had everything pinned, then for each of your squares, then you would lay your rows for each square on top. And we'll talk about how to sew them and then press them on next week's video. So once you had them all pinned, then here's your bottom row, your center row, your top row. And you would lay them like that and you would do them for each square. So play around with your fabrics. Um, depending on your layout, you may have to cut more squares of a certain fabric. Um, if you find out that uh, you know, your, your layout, you need more of one fabric than the other. But lay out all your fabrics, get them to where you like them. Um, doesn't matter what size square that you have cut, um, the layout process is going to be the same. Decide how you like your fabrics, how you like your layout, pin it together or put it in stacks together. And then um, we will be ready in next week's lesson, lesson four, to get it all sewn. Happy sewing!